Hear ye, hear ye, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Meritville's first annual Festival of the Arts. Everyone is welcome to celebrate summer by enjoying diverse artistic activities throughout historic Meritville, situated on the UNESCO World Heritage Rideau Canal. As you experience a relaxing ambient stroll amongst heritage stone and red brick buildings, members of the Americville Artists Guild will be presenting a variety of artistic creations from paintings and pottery, printmaking, jewelry, mixed media, all by local artisans, to outdoor afternoon plays performed by the Theatre Night in Marigold Troupe. A feast for the eyes indeed, but a feast for the ears as well, for there'll be live music performed throughout the days of the festival, as well as select readings from Marigold's own rogue poets. And speaking of feasts, as you enjoy the delightful creations of Marigold's artisans, artists, and musicians, Enjoy the gastronomical delights that our jewel on the Rito has to offer. Award-winning, mouth-watering sweet delicacies such as delectable butter tarts and decadent gelato, as well as freshly homemade delicious ice cream and sumptuous flavors of fudge. And if you have savory leanings, we have silky soup, sublime sandwiches, and scrumptious sourdough pizza. So, Whatever your age, whatever your tastes, come and experience Merrickville's Festival of the Arts. You will not be disappointed. Well, what are you doing? Come on, let's go. Hear ye, hear ye. Welcome to the festival. This is the new century. This is my 69th year. Went to bed where I read something good about the war before I fell asleep. It was the old century. It was nighttime, April 1941, London. The debutante's ball went ahead 
while the Luftwaffe overhead bombed the city. Not many of you remember the rotary dial telephone, <laughs> not to mention a party line. Imagine when there was no phones at all. I mean, after all, our very own Alexander Graham Bell didn't invent it until 1876. Imagine having to put quill to parchment in order to send a message to your loved one. From that day forth, they and all their kin were as welcome in my house as any of my brethren. For I had learned a truth. It seems the world will never end. When the counter ceased to sway, she hit the ground with an awful sound. She'd fainted dead away. Now, I'd be the last to call all fishermen uncouth. But what comes next will make you feel at least they bend the truth. So lose our lives and miss our daily ration. Go to the Irish, love they say, with all their girls so far away.